Hello, have you ever wondered how to turn your fixed speed trolling motor, like this one, 5 forward, 2 reverse, into an infinitely adjustable trolling motor? What you need is one of these, a PWM controller. This is a 50 amp or 100 amp max controller. I got it off of eBay, it cost about $30 Canadian. And what I did to wire it up is I got some stereo ends for an amplifier that have the fork in them and I soldered them onto each end of the wire. Uh, these black ones here go to the trolling motor. These other two here go to my battery, which is down there. And you clamp them on in there, and the digital readout you see here gives you a percentage of the output that the PWM controller is putting out. Now I also put a little fan in here from the local surplus store, just to keep things cool. And I have this piece of foam in here to keep this PWM from sliding back and forth in here. It's actually pretty solid in here. And I've drilled holes along here to allow airflow so the fan will be blowing air across the circuit board here and blowing it out the other side just to keep things cool. Now, I've also rigged up a switch in here for the fan so it is not on constantly, draining the battery. Uh, this switch here, this one, two, and off, and the potentiometer dial here come with the PWM controller. Uh, this I bought separately. So this essentially is your forward reverse switch and this is your on off. Clicks on, clicks off and then the further you turn it up the faster it'll go. Now I've put this into a somewhat waterproof container just to keep water splashes and stuff off of here because like any electronics they do not like water. So I put four holes in the end here to allow them to go into the board. I have machined out a spot for the fan. And then like I said, I drilled some holes in this side for cooling. And these wires I think are about, I'm gonna say eight gauge. The Max output of this 55 pound thrust trolling motor, I think is gonna be about 50 amps. So as a rule, you get about one amp per pound of thrust. So if you have a 34 pound thrust trolling motor, you're gonna get about 30 amps, 34 amps of peak amperage during your running. So to use this thing, you want to put your trolling motor in full speed forward, so in this case it's in five. So when I come down here, I got everything hooked up. I want to go forward, so I'll click it into forwards. If I want the fan on, I'll turn the fan on. Here's a fan running in there. It doesn't need to be on, I just put it in there as a safeguard because it might get hot in this plastic container. And so we'll watch the digital readout down here. So when I click this switch on, and this is at the very bottom, it comes up zero, zero, zero. So there's nothing, there's no current going through this unit out to my trolling motor. As soon as I turn this dial up, that number's gonna go up higher and higher and higher. And then you might be able to hear the trolling motor speeding up all the way up to 100%. Now I'll slow this down to zero again and try and get both in the same picture. So it's at zero, nothing spinning. Turn this up. And there it starts moving about 10%, which is pretty slow. I can go down as much as five, I think. Have it still move, yeah. So you speed it up. Say you're fishing at 25 in your canoe, kayak, John boat, whatever. And this is the speed you need for catching fish. So you catch a fish, what you do is you come over here, you click it off propeller stops so your line doesn't get tangled in it. You land the fish, everybody gets baited back up and back in the water. You want to resume your same speed. You don't touch this dial, leave it. 25, clicker into gear. And now you're at the exact same speed again. Now, you can shut it off, prop stops, and now that's reverse, so it'll be backing up. I'll put it back into neutral. I don't need the fan on. I'm going to shut that off. Now, if you don't have this in either 
selection of forge or reverse, this dial does absolutely nothing to the speed of the trolling motor. You need to have it in a gear to allow the current to come through the PWM into your trolling motor. Now the reason this works is these trolling motors have resistance coils in the bottom end which limit the current flow going to the prop through the motor. And it's about 20% of the current flow in gear one. So if I have it in gear one, right there, only 20% of the current flow is going through to the prop. The other 80% gets sent through resistance coils, which is then turned into heat. And then the heat is then dispersed into the water around the bottom end motor unit here. So by using this controller, not only are you giving yourself infinite speed adjustment, you're also prolonging the life of your battery because you are not losing battery current into the water around it because you're wasting that 80% which could have been put towards propulsion. So that's how I changed my 55 pound thrust 5 speed trolling motor into an infinitely adjustable trolling motor. I have not yet tried this out on the water yet. I just got this hooked up about two hours ago. So maybe this weekend I can get out and if it works out all right, I might take a video out on the lake of my speed as I gradually speed up and slow down and maintain speed. Thank you for watching.